Hello everybody, George Burns here. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> and today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card is using the stamp set, new stamp set, under my umbrella. It has a coordinating punch to go with it, which we will use for the umbrella and the handle. And for this set we're going to be using the umbrella, the Wellingtons and a couple of the flowers. I don't actually know which ones I've got out. I've got that one out and that one out. And we'll use them. For the sentiment, hope you're feeling better really soon, I've got that from Humming Along and we're going to use that. Yeah. Alright, card stop. I've got a card base, white of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth and burnished. I have a piece of Pacific Point. I have not used this in so long. So, and that is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. To save on cutting up another piece, I actually cut out a scalloped, small scallop circle from the center. No one will know, but you can't see it. So you'll need the small scalloped and then the small circle to match for the sentiment. Now I have cut out three white ones for the fact that I haven't stamped it yet. So I can make six mistakes. I've also got a piece of white cardstock for the inside, which I, oh, I did some wellies on the inside. So I'll need that. And I have got scrap for the stamping of. So, to get started, let's do some stamping. So it will dry. Have I got a mask in here? Yes, I have. For a pair of wellies. Right. We will, on here, with my black Versafine, we will stamp the wellies in the middle there, and a pair of wellies there. With the wellies being, oh no, that's not, that's a flower, never mind. And the wellies, I will get a bit of, save me cutting out a whole mask, I am just going to put that over the front of the wellies and just stamp some flowers at the side of it and I'm going to do the same this side Have flowers at the side of that. And I need that's some scrap, that's my inside. So I need another piece. Now this, I need to lay flowers there, and I'm going to put the wellies there. I should have waited until I cut the wellies out. Let's leave that until we've cut the wellies out. Right, 
Oh, let's get that to one side. We need an umbrella. to stamp the sentiments and see if we can do it first time. No. Nope. Let's try it again. Cookie. My husband's snoring while I'm filming. That's better. Hope you feel better. That's not bad. I only had to do it twice. Right. What else have we got to stamp? That, the wellies, and the flowers to go over the wellies, which we have also have to cut out by hand. To there. Right. Now we'll do a little bit of colouring. Don't need that bit. Don't need them. The umbrella. We're going to do light and navy light. to put a light on. Let me go and put a light on. I think that's better for you. Alright. Then we've got real red. Oh no, that's poppy. I don't want poppy. I want real red. for the middle. Daffodil delight for the this isn't daffodil delight. This is pineapple punch. Oh no it is. It's daffodil delight light. Right. That's the umbrella done. Now because we're using Pacific Point, I am actually going to colour my wellies in Pretty Peacock. One's inside in Pretty Peacock as well.
Mustn't forget about the shadow. Just go over the where the shadow would be a couple of times with the pen. All right, and that's there. A bit of black, basic black for the top of the welly and the sole. And then we just colour these flowers in. What have I got? I've got purple. Purple. This is Highland Heather Dark. Am I right? Yep. I've got pink. And my middle one is going to be Seatside spray. Right, I need to do one of these on this side. We have got to lay another f stamp another flower on the other side of the Wellington when I place it down. Right, I'm just colouring the leaves in in old olive. Actually, missed a flower here. Now it hasn't stamped very well, so. Where's my pen when I find it? Yeah, let's do. Mm. I am just going to finish off that flower there. And I'll colour that yellow. So that's my inside done. I need to do leaves on this side. Front. 
bring in the punch we're going to punch out this umbrella there isn't a part on the punch for the oh I need that I need to punch out a handle With the hand, I'm going to colour it in grey. Of the scissors. Right, we're going to quickly cut out these wellies. I don't know what the Americans call Wellingtons or galoshes. Let me know what you call these kind of rain boots. Be interesting. There's our boots. Just need to stamp another flower there. And then we need to cut this flower out because this flower is going to sit on top of the Wellington. concentrating really hard here that's why I'm not talking fiddly flowers right get rid of all that and this will make up our card so we just got to stamp our rain which I didn't get out going to stamp with Ow. seaside spray yeah seaside spray and we're going to stamp that coming down from here so all you do just stamp it 
and make sure some hit the umbrella because that's what it's there for to keep the wellies dry because they're feeling under the weather Having a storm. I also have to bring this back and stamp this flower. No, not with that one. Let's do this one. If that's going to go there, I want this flower. go there. So the well is standing in the flowers. Right, that's that. I've just got to colour these flowers in quickly. I believe it's February already. I'm saying that you might not see this until March. Yeah, today is the second of February. Believe it or not. The reason I'm uh, recording so far in advance is, like I said before, I've got my sister coming last week in February and I don't want to be worrying about videos while she's here. So I decided to film for the month of February all at once oh can't see any oh yeah just one right now we just need to start sticking this all down so with my glue I'll stick this on our Pacific point and guess what I haven't cut this down right, give me a minute let me cut it down Sorry about that. I thought I'd cut it down. But I hadn't. That's better. So this white piece needs to be three and three quarters by five and a half. glue on the fingers. Right, stick this piece in the inside. And stick 
down the sentiment. that on. want some dimensionals to put on the back of these three things. I don't know if I've got enough left. One, sentiment I'll put that down first seems it's in my hand and we're just going to stick that up there the wellies next and we're going to stick them in the flower bed and they are going to sit on top so I just want a little little a small mini dimensional just there and then we're going to glue that and I'm going to go and batter my husband don't stop snoring. Right, that's the hand. We're just going to stick it so it's just sticking out from the welly, and they will stick like that. So let's stick this down flat. No way, I'll try and get dimensionals on that. And then take off the back ends of these and stick that down like that. A little bit high, a bit more down. That's it. And there you have it. A Hope you're feeling better card from under my umbrella. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. Um, and if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Ah, never done the grass. That's easy. We'll just do some grass around there like that. Yeah, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. If you um, press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.